Hello everyone, today I'll be sea foaming my gasoline engine. Now, the three spots you're supposed to add this in is your oil, through your vacuum lines, and your fuel tank. Uh, but I'll just be adding it to the fuel tank and through a vacuum line. Now, they normally recommend you to pull your brake booster line off, which is right here. But the problem is your car will actually idle fairly rough and it's kind of hard to keep it going. So, what I'll be doing is just pulling off a small vacuum line here. Now, instead of pouring it in, uh, as they show on your brake booster, what I'll do, be doing is adding a extra, uh, just rubber clear line here. I'm pulling it off like so. Just putting it on there. Now, I've already tested this out and the car does run fine with it. And I'll simply take the other end and stick it in the can. Now, I'll be using approximately half the can uh, to add into the, through the vacuum line and the rest I'll be dumping into the fuel tank so when I drive it actually cleans the injectors and fuel system out. Now before you add this in, now what you want to do is actually have your engine already pre-warmed up uh, up to operating temperature and uh, then I'll start my engine up and actually insert the hose inside the can here and wait till it slowly sucks the fluid in and wait for the car to actually stall out. Then let it sit for five minutes so it soaks into the carbon within the combustion chambers and start the vehicle back up so it clears itself out. Now that the engine's stalled, uh, I'll let it soak for about five minutes uh, just to uh, soak into the carbon, as I just mentioned uh, before. Uh, unfortunately, when I Put the hose inside the um, the fluid. I figured it would have stalled out the engine, but uh, the engine still kept running, so I actually had to have someone turn the engine off for me. Now dump the remaining half can into your fuel tank. Now some vehicles do have a little cap inside, so you can actually use a screwdriver just to push it in, so the solution does go in a little quicker. Now once you've let your vehicle soak for five minutes, uh, you're going to want to start it back up and solid white smoke will come out of the tailpipe. So what you want to do is let your vehicle run until that totally disappears and then turn it off. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them.